Hey there guys, here is Unknown from Notion Hub and in this video, I am going to show you the most important tips and tricks for Samsung Galaxy A12. By the way, I already made a dedicated video for the best features where I showed all the features offered by this phone. So definitely check out that video, link will be in the description. First we have full screen gestures. Once you enable this, you can swipe up to go home, swipe up and hold for recent apps, swipe from left or right to go back. You can swipe up diagonally from bottom left or right corner for Google Assistant. You can also swipe on the bottom to switch between apps. Next we have split screen mode. This is how you can enable split screen mode. Go to recent apps page, tap on app icon and then select split screen. This will open the current app in split screen. And from the bottom you can select another app. Now this is how you can enable pop up view. Go to recent apps page, tap on app icon and select pop up view. And the app will open in small window. Now you can resize the app, select its transparency minimize it to a bubble, maximize it and you can also close it. Next, we can enable split screen for all apps. There are some applications that still do not support split screen mode. So to fix that, you can go to settings and then select about phone and go to software information. Now click on the build number few times. Once you do that, developer options will be enabled. Now if you go back to settings, you can find developer options. Select that and scroll all the way to the bottom and enable force activities to be resizable and then restart your phone. Now you will be able to use all applications in split screen mode. Next we have camera gestures. Now we have few camera gestures. Like you can swipe up the shutter button for a floating button. You can place it near your thumb for easy access. Swipe it back into the shutter button to remove it. You can swipe up and down on preview window to switch between front and rear cameras. You can also pinch to zoom in and out to switch between primary and wide angle cameras. Now in the front camera, you can show your palm to take a picture. Next we have live wallpapers. You can use a video as a live wallpaper. You can also record a video and set it as a lock screen wallpaper. Here's a quick preview. Next we have finger sensor gesture. Once you enable finger sensor gesture, you can swipe down on the fingerprint sensor to pull down the notification panel. This works for most rare or side fingerprint scanners, but it won't work for in display fingerprint scanner. Next we have screenshot. As with most phones, you can take the regular screenshot with the buttons. Just press the volume down and power button at the same time to take a screenshot. This works everywhere. Next we have long screenshot. Once you enable toggle screenshot toolbar, whenever you take a screenshot either with palm swipe gesture or with the buttons, you get additional options on the bottom of the screen. Just tap on this and it will start taking long screenshot. It will scroll once and pause so you can tap again and again till you get the desired long screenshot. Next we have maximum power saving mode. If you have critically low battery, you can turn this on and it limits the CPU usage, enables dark mode and does everything to reduce battery consumption. Now you can use the phone for very long time. You can't do much in this mode, but you can add more apps here and you can also use internet. Next we have auto call recording. Once you enable this mode, all the calls will be automatically recorded on your phone. You can also select if you want to record all numbers or unsaved numbers or selected numbers. Next we have default apps. This is default apps page. From here you can select your default browser, default phone dialer, default home screen, that's the default launcher and so on. Next we can show battery percentage. Once you enable this toggle, it displays the battery percentage on the status bar. Next we can disable fast charging. From battery settings, you can disable this toggle fast charging. Next we can display brightness control all the time. Now this is your brightness slider. You can also put this brightness slider on top here and you can do that from here. Select quick panel layout and enable show brightness on top. Now you can access the brightness slider on top. Next, we can change flashlight intensity. From notification panel, tap on the name of flashlight icon. Now you can get this bar to change the brightness. When flashlight is on, you can move this bar for desired brightness of the flash. Next, we have quick settings. In notification panel, you can access quick settings for all these toggles. You can change sound profiles, change flashlight intensity, change blue light intensity, change auto rotate options, change Bluetooth options, and change Wi Fi network directly from the notification toggles. Next, we have home screen gestures. Now, these are for notification bar. When you swipe down using a single finger on the status bar, you get the quick notification toggles and then notifications. Now, if you do the same thing with two fingers, you directly go to the notification toggle area. Next, we also have some tweaks for home screen. You can swipe up and down and it shows your app drawer by default. 
and you can change swipe down gesture to notification. Now when you swipe down on home screen, it will bring down the notification panel. We can also hide apps. Next, we can hide camera cutout. Once you enable this, hide camera cutout, the notch area is covered with black bar and the notch is pretty much hidden. Next, we can disable wallpaper service. Once you disable this wallpaper service option, the lock screen wallpapers no longer change and a single wallpaper will be fixed. Next, we have side key feature. You have quick shortcut. We can double press power button to quickly open the camera application or else you can also open your favorite application. Next we have swipe to call or send message. Once you enable this in your phone dialer or contacts, you can swipe right on the contact to call them or swipe left on the contact to message them. This is a quick and easy way to take those actions. So guys, these are the most important tips and tricks for your Samsung phone. If I missed out on anything important, do let me know by commenting below this video. And if you're planning to buy this phone, use the link in the description. It always helps the channel. If you want us to make any specific video, tweet out to us with hashtag AskGreetTech on Twitter and we'll try to make it as soon as possible. I'm Unknown from Notion Hub. Meet you in the next one.